Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It's been a long time since I went to downtown. This summer here, the homeless has invaded a very popular section of the downtown area. And today I'm gonna go investigate and show you guys a little bit of it. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this day would come. And it has finally started where the homeless is starting to camp, as we can say it, set up campment, shelters, sleeping, whatever you want to call it. And the city, the city itself, Anchorage, downtown itself, they're not really doing much about it. They're not moving these people. They're like, yeah, whatever, you guys can just hang out here now. I'm currently on E Street. You can see there's residential, downtown residential homes on both sides. Passing 11th Avenue right here. And we just go down and down. 11th, 10th, 9th, 8th, 1st, and 2nd. We're going to be heading to the 2nd Avenue. And that is where the new encampment is. Ah, it is a beautiful day here in Anchorage though. I will say that. Gorgeous morning. We have Town Square right over here on the left side. Wow, it's been a long time. I need to come back out here and do a scooter ride for you guys. I apologize for that. We just passed <coughs> Fifth Avenue right here. Let's go take a look on Fourth Avenue really quick and then we'll go into our section that we want to showcase today. These are all tourists right here. These folks are tourists. These folks over here are tourists as well. Some folks are locals. Paratrovic Park. Wow, Fourth Avenue actually looks pretty nice actually. Nice and clean. Definitely lots of tourists though. That's good, good for business. Some locals say they don't like it when their tours are here, but I love it when the tours are here. Good for Alaska business. Family beers, Bigfoot. They still have construction going on over here on 4th Avenue after they removed the 4th Avenue theater. Ooh, very nice day. <coughs> this is where the 4th Avenue theater building used to be at. It was demolished this year. Pretty amazing. Lots of construction actually. There's some construction all the way down there as well. Oh wow, lots of construction going on downtown. There's one construction right here too as well. This is right here at the uh, one of the police department center. You got some scaffolding. It's the Captain Cook Hotel. Police department right here. This is the downtown one. Bunch of units in the parking lot, so it's probably the morning shift. <coughs> ah, it feels good to be back in downtown. Amazing place. Now, let's talk about this situation, guys. The problem about this situation is that if the city is not willing to do anything about this when it's still small, he just ran around late. If they don't plan to do anything about this when it's still a small situation, pretty soon everyone is just gonna start camping out here. I'm pretty sure I can bring my tent and I can just camp out here for a couple days and nobody will say nothing. So that's what we don't want downtown Anchorage to turn into. Our city here is a beautiful place and uh, we have to take care of it. We can't just let this place go to trash. <sighs> this tall building right here is the Hilton Hotel. You can see all the luggage right there. Amazing. Wow, it's a lot of luggage. A lot of tourists. Right across 
across from the train depot, the train department, is where everyone is camping and it's right up on this hill right here. That's the train depot down there, that white building, the railroad, Alaska Railroad. And wow, look at this hill right here, guys. Look at all this real estate, man. This is... This is insane. Crazy, crazy. Wow. You guys can see right in front of here, that's the railroad department, train depot. This is where people depart and arrive. And right across this hill, that's where all the camping is. Train Depot and Downtown Camping. We're just gonna call that the Downtown Camping Ground now. Bunch of tourists on this bus right here. parking lot right here if you walk up these steps it gets you to on the one road and goes right up to the camping ground more camping on the side right here it's camping everywhere I was here about three weeks ago and it wasn't this bad this is actually a really, really nice place to come and take photos and just have like a quick, you know, 30 minute picnic. But now everyone don't feel safe here. And again, about three, four weeks ago when I was here, it wasn't even this big yet. There was probably maybe five, 10 tents up. But now there's definitely over 20 plus tents just surrounding all over here. And on that street right there, which is a dead street. They haven't moved onto that side of the grass yet. I believe they're not allowed to camp on that side of the grass. But on this side, I believe they don't have any say on it. So these folks are just over here now. And if you guys are disappointed in this, you guys need to blame the city because the city is not taking any action. And it's only going to get worse from here on. right here is the Chinook parking this is the parking lot that's on top of that hill this parking lot's very popular because they do rent out this parking lot to do like Ferrandi and a bunch of other events and a lot of people park up here when they need to go to downtown pay by parking but again just right below these steps right here are where the camping ground is taking place so you don't have much option The heart of downtown Anchorage, Alaska welcomes you. This is the overlook of the Alaska Railroad. All the way out to the port of Anchorage. And also the downtown camping area. I saw a set of tires. Somebody has a set of tires over there. I see a grill, bicycles, pretty much everything out here. Some really nice, big size eight person tent. 
and again guys i'm not picking on these folks you know i know they're probably going through some hard times but what i'm disappointed is is that i believe the city should do a better job i think that the city needs to do a better job if these people want to live this style or this life they need to set up like a place where people can go do a tent city that's why I'm pretty much disappointed at. But to allow the, the to, for the city to allow this to happen and let folks run them around like this, why don't I just come out here and start gutting my trucks out here and hopefully nobody bothers me. So I think the city needs to do something better because if they don't do anything better, downtown is gonna be the new skid row. This will be the new skid row right here.